Now that we learn about operators and functions, let's build uh, our first uh, KQL query. Uh, and the intention here is to look for commands that are way too long, longer than the standard length of the commands. And we are looking for things like, for example, when people in, embed uh, commands into uh, encode base64, what makes it longer. Things that are, are unusual. And this use case was brought to me by um, uh, both Chris's, actually. The initial case was uh, Chris Minen and uh, my friend uh, Christian Rubalcaba. So let's actually start by building. So we're going to take this the default search and we're going to start from the database of events and we're going to put the, the filters that make the search more efficient. So first of all, we're interested in doing this on the last three days. So we start by getting that original time uh, greater than I go three days, right? Very easy. And if you are beginning on this, it's always useful to build the search little by little. So this is going to take longer, but uh, it's, so you go like that and you say, okay, everything is working fine. The, the, the search executed. Now we're going to put another condition uh, because we want to make sure that the payload that, that we get from the loss contains the, the actual command line. So we're going to use the payload attribute and we're going to use the contain operator and this is uh, case insensitive the the contains underscore cs is uh, case sensitive and we're going to put here command line and again we, we don't have to worry about upper and lower case in there and let's take the first 10 just to make sure that we are doing things right we're building this little by little and i'm about to forget the pipe to bring the stuff from the top to the next level. We run the query and that query runs and, and it's actually uh, good. Now we, we can even see the, the results and we see that it's, it's actually working. All these things, if we were to look at the, at the payload and we can actually see it in here, we'll see that it has the, the command line and it's three days ago, but uh, there are way too many columns that we do not care about. Well, let's actually go back to our search and we only need to project the the columns that we care so we're going to do a project and the ones that we care are obviously original time comma we also of course once the payload and Let's say that we want to find out the IP address of the source IP for this, so we're going to do source IP, right? And again, run it one by one. Uh, this video is going to be longer because of the methodology, but if you are starting with KQL, it is best if you go little by little. My query is working fine, and we only have the columns that we care about. In order to proceed, we need to uh, use regex to extract what comes after the command line, the actual command, because that's what we want to focus on. So, so we're going to uh, start by using the next pipe and we are going to uh, extend this operator that we want to use. Uh, look ahead, help me there. We're going to put an, a, a column and that column is going to have a single, uh, it's going to be a, a single column that we're extending and we're going to call it a command whatever you want to give it a name and then we're going to use the extract command to build the regex and as we saw before in some of the other videos we're going to put the regex and, and I have a separate set of videos on uh, in case that you're not familiar with uh, regex and how to learn that so we're going to put here that we are looking for command line which is the actual text that we see in those. We're going to get what is after that. Okay, we get current. And uh, yeah, that looks about right. 
and we're going to take the first capture group and if the field that we are extracting this is from the payload and the last thing is that we're going to do a type conversion and make sure that this is in, in a string uh, format so notice as I have said before in other videos that uh, that this is similar to the C language this this was actually built originally in uh, C++ so that's what uh, some of the terminology looks like that so and with that we should have everything that we need let's actually limit this to take again and just being picky this stuff is so powerful that you can take the default and then hundred thousand without a problem so let's run the query and see if we have not make any mistake with the syntax and what we see here is that we have a command line but notice that in some cases that search doesn't produce a command it's actually empty so those are not the ones we want so we want to filter those further how do we do that well for filter we use the where so let's go here and do a where and we're going to use the operator is not empty on the actual com uh, column that we build and that should do it again I'm not going to use the take so you'll see that uh, the, the performance of this is so good that uh, that it doesn't really make too much of a difference and we we have the results here now though that command line is not empty we see that we have the calculator some scripts uh, notepad etc so we're getting closer to what we want so the next thing that we need to do is to create another column so we're going to use extend again and what is it that we want to put there well we want to get the actual length of the command right and how do we do that well there is an operator for that let's actually call this uh, uh, new column that we extended it's called it command length and we're going to make it uh, use the str len again this is like the c and, and c++ uh, syntax str len uh, of course of the actual command that we extracted and we tested it again and we see and the idea of doing all these test by test is if you make a mistake you know how easy uh, how to debug the, the actual command and we get the, the number of characters that each of those commands have now comes the uh, the, 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 the net of the thing what we want to do is that we want to group these and for that remember when you group when you aggregate things you use the summarize command uh, but we want to look at what is the maximum length we're going to look what is the of all the commands on the last three days what is the average uh, length of every one of the commands and the standard deviation for 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 those and we're going to group them by source ip because we want to find what is it that what is the source ip that is actually doing this it could be the user id it could be whatever it is right so let's uh, actually do that by using the summarize operator and we're going to take the first parameter we're going to max length and it's going to be using the word max find me the the, the length the, the the longest uh, command that we have for this uh, command length, I'm actually grab it in here and put it there. Also, we said that we want the average. Well, there's a function for that, so we're going to call that column average length, and we're going to use the function average. that command 
and the final one is the standard deviation so standard deviation it's going to be the stdev function for that command and we said that we want to group this by source IP and that's not a problem because notice that we are carrying over from the initial the initial project that we did we are bringing the source IP so we should be able to group them by that of course if you, if you do a group in a summarize and you haven't brought along via the pipes uh, what you are grouping by but th that's going to give you a syntax error let's see if, how we did and we have more columns in here we have the, the maximum the average and the standard deviation well the final thing that we need to do now is to filter this further again filter is where and we want to see when that max length in here that command that is the, the longest is greater than the average plus the standard deviation and that will get me that outlier or those outlier uh, commands that are too long again encoded base 64 or something that is that is strange uh, we, we are fishing here we're trying to find what what is it that is going on so we go there and we actually have you know for example this command on the source IP 0000, 000, 000 is, is actually very very long so that that's what we want but let's say that we want to conclude this and say well what, what is the 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 source IP of it well different ways of doing this uh, one way that we can actually do it is okay now that I know that the source IP is uh, 0000, 000, 000 well, I can take this out and put a filter and say where uh, command length and we know that that command that length of that command was what uh, 1101 where command length is equal to 1101 uh, project that command so I want to see the actual command actual command in here let's run it and see what we got now we have actually a couple of instances and we can go here and take a look at you know the, the we can copy these we can you know uh, go in there but we, we can actually see even we don't even have to copy from here you can actually see that this, <laughs> this stuff is actually pretty uh, pretty lengthy I mean in this particular case this doesn't seem to be malicious but again we are fishing for those things so that is our first example of making uh, a KQL for uh, for fishing thanks again our friends uh, Chris uh, Minan and Chris Rubakava for bringing this to my attention